Hey guys, Andre here with a from Beefy Techie here with another video to basically show you guys who already bought a capture device such as an Elgato game capture, the Avermedia LGP, or even a Hophog HDP VR, and you all want to use this to stream. And when I say Hophog HDP VR, I'm talking about the old black and gray one with the blue light at the top, not the new one that they have, which is the HDP VR2 gaming edition which is green or the other one that's blue or the other one that's red we're talking about the old school ACP VR anyway um, if you have either one of those three types of devices um, this guide is basically geared for you guys now in order for you to start streaming with those devices um, it, it, it's kind of a hassle, but I'm going to show you exactly what it is you need to do. Um, you necessarily don't need a mixer, but it would be cool to actually have one. Either way, I'm going to show you this demo with the Avermedia Live Gamer Portable. I'm just going to open up Rec Center. Um, now, in Rec Center, and, and this is pretty much the reason why I say you're not going to really need a mixer because the thing is, is that the audio and the video in this is delayed by a lot. Like, I'm going to show you exactly. So I'm going to move back now and I'm going to hit. I'm hitting jab. As you can see, I stopped pressing, but it was still going. So there's about a good four to five seconds of delay. So you don't want, you don't necessarily want that, but if you already have this, these type of cards, like the Elgato GameCast, the Pop Up with the PBR, the Avermedia, LG Live Game Reportable, these devices are USB 2 devices. They tend to not give you those. Oh, let me mute him so you guys don't hear nothing but Saber Wolf. But um, they tend to take a little bit they're delayed so they're not going to be that perfect type of video that's coming into your computer it's the same going it's going to be whatever's going on in your console is what's going to be going on in your tv it's just not going to be the same all around when it comes to actually capturing from the actual device so now you want to know how you could actually stream this now the best way for you to do this I'm not going to tell you to screen cap because screen capping in Cantos is kind of a pain in the ass. Um, your best bet is to go ahead, download this free application called Siphon Inject. I'm going to put the um, link into the description. All the links for all these programs are going to be in the description. So what we're going to do is we're going to inject, which is basically just like screen capping, it just uses less. It basically captures those frames and we're going to inject it with Siphon and we're going to go ahead and open up Coco Split. This is only if you want to do straight regular capture. I wouldn't suggest using a webcam and things like that only because it's going to be your camera is going to be pretty much live and the game that you're capturing is going to be delayed S as well as your speech so if you're going to be capturing your audio it's going to be delayed. So, as you guys can see, everything is pretty much smooth there. It's capturing the video and everything else. What you're going to want to do is, once again, we're going to change the audio to uh, Soundflower. So, we're going to not go there. We're going to go to System Preferences. We're going to go to Sound. And we're going to put the audio to Soundflower 2. Okay? So, you do that, we're done. If you want to incorporate a microphone, you can just go ahead, open up Audio Hijack and if you want to take your audio from your mic which is going to be my line in and you want to put it to Soundflower 2 just go just ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> what's on? something is on put this to Soundflower 2 and Soundflower bed is on so let's put it to none Let's hijack it. All right, so here it is. We're hijacking the audio and everything else. So once we hijack the audio from here and we already have this audio being played 
through Soundflower, if I go ahead and I just start streaming, whatever I'm saying is being said over the microphone there, but remember, it's being played over what's delayed. So if something was to happen here and I say, like, let's say I lose the match and I'm upset about it, audibly they're going to know that I lost, but visually they don't know that I lost. You understand what I'm saying? So sometimes it's best to keep your emotions in until you see it actually happen on there. All right, and that pretty much does it for this guide for streaming with a USB 2.0 capture device on a MacBook MacBook Pro MacBook not well let's go over that again iMac MacBook Pro Mac Mini so if you have a USB 2 device such as an Elgato a Hophog HD PVR or an Avermedia Media like I just showed here the Avermedia Media LGP um, this is pretty much the best way to do it. You need a program called Siphon Inject, you need Cocoa Split, and that's pretty much it. If you wanted to get a little fancy with it, where you wanted to add other things, you could go ahead and incorporate Cam Twist in as well. Um, I've pretty much, well, I'll show you how to do it with Cam Twist again. Um, what you're going to do is close that. I'm going to delete these buttons so we can go over the whole instruction again. Um, hit new button, edit, and we're going to click siphon, add, and as you can see, using a little bit more CPU, but we're going to pick rec center, and let's say if you wanted to add an overlay, new button, edit, add, go straight to I, go to image, overlay, add here scale to 2 and I need to do this new finder window and basically I could just throw an overlay on top of it like I said I, I normally don't suggest this method because of the simple fact that it, it tends to get a little crazy so there there done and that's what your stream will look like once you start streaming but other than that it's pretty self self explainable once you start using cam twist and you start messing around with things and whatnot other than that that pretty much does it um, all the links will be in the description and I like to say thank you for your time if you have any more questions just leave a comment with your question and I'll be sure to respond